Hi, Kevin here. Well, it's Friday and I'm going to try to put dinner on the table very quickly this evening. I'm going to do one of those sheet pan dinners and on the sheet pan will be chicken thighs that I'm going to glaze with maple syrup and maybe some Dijon mustard and then I have delicata squash that I plucked from the garden and I've got some apples that I picked up this afternoon from the orchard that's right up the street and an onion and well we'll see what else okay so it's a sheep pan dinner now if you've never had delicata squash uh, you must try it it has become like my favorite winter squash of all I love it even better than butternut squash uh, and you can find this in farmers markets or of course you could grow it yourself if you have a garden Anyway, what you do is cut off each end, the stem end, the blossom end, and then get it right down the middle. And remove the seeds. And let me tell you, the seeds are really easy to remove. Just use a spoon. There are not nearly as many seeds in delicata squash as there are in, oh, say, acorn or butternut squash. And far, far fewer than you would find in a pumpkin. Okay. These out very quickly. I'm trying to do this in real time. That is, I'm trying to film the video in real time. Yes, Tiger. That's my cat. Everybody wants something. Okay. And then, cut the delicata squash into half moons. I should probably mention that I'm having two delicata squash tonight. One for Mr. Fox, one for me, because the squash are not large. Okay, and then throwing these on a baking sheet over here. And yes, I do uh, have aluminum foil on my baking sheet. But I'm going to stop using aluminum foil, I think, because one of my viewers told me that it's not healthy. Okay. So I cut them about this thin. Onto the baking sheet they go. And then, let's see, I have an onion over here that I cut into half moons. Throw that on. And now the chicken. No, I'm going to do the apples next. And I've already washed these very well. Now, I'm not going to peel them because I don't want to peel them. I want to see the beautiful color. Okay, now these, I'm going to cut, I'm going to dice the apples. I'll do some of it on camera and then I'll turn the camera off and finish the job. Yeah, so I'm just cutting them into a rough dice. Okay, I'll finish this up and come right back. All right, so I have my onion and the delicata squash and the two apples on the baking sheet. And then I'm going to give them a quick drizzle with extra virgin olive oil. And then Want some salt? And 
some pepper. And give it all a toss. You want the apples and the onion and the delicata squash to glisten with the oil. Okay, and now on to the chicken. So I need my little bowl. Now here I'm going to put, well I wanted to use grainy mustard, but all I had on hand was Grey Poupon, Dijon mustard, which I like and which will work just fine. Here, maybe two tablespoons. I think that will be enough. And then, while I was at the apple orchard, I picked up some pure maple syrup, which cost its weight in gold. I'm going to add. Let's see, maybe a tablespoon. Give it a quick stir. Yeah, I, I sometimes like odd combinations of flavors, like mustard, spicy mustard, and sweet maple syrup. Okay, then let me fetch the chicken. So these are skin-on, bone-in chicken thighs. You want to make little openings for the chicken. And these are not gonzo uh, chicken thighs from the supermarket. I, I buy them from a local farm store. So they're they're not tiny, but they're not huge. I'm always suspicious of those giant chicken parts. It's like, why are they so large? You know, what are they up to? Not the chickens, the growers. Hang on, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, now my oven is preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, it's already preheated. I heard it ding a short time ago. So now I'm going to brush this sauce over the chicken. Yes, Tiger. Tiger is very needy today. And the hum you hear is from an air conditioner in my office, which is conveniently located right next to the kitchen. It suddenly got very humid here. Okay. Now, final touch. Hmm, I have some sage leaves from the garden, but I think I will add these at the end. So I'm going to pop this into the oven right after I salt the chicken and right after I pepper the chicken okay then into the oven uh, until the chicken is done and all the vegetables have caramelized slightly and that is going to take 25 to 30 minutes I think so I'll come back when this is ready. When I put that in the oven, I realized that, holy cow, I prepared enough vegetables for eight people. So we're gonna have leftover roasted vegetables and that's perfectly fine. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Also, while the dinner is cooking, I'm going to take these sage leaves and cut them into a chiffonade. And the way you do that is just stack the leaves. I have what, one, two, I have five or six leaves here. And you roll them from stem end to tip end as if you were rolling a cigar. 
and then cut crosswise. We move you in. We give you the glam shot. Cut very thin strips. And there it is. Chiffonade of sage. Okay, I'm going to use this as a garnish over the chicken. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just pulled this out of the oven. It was only in there for three minutes because it suddenly dawned on me that it might be fun to drizzle the vegetables with some of this maple syrup. Let's see if I can do this without pouring the whole quart out. There. So some of the vegetables and some of the apples will have this extra caramelized color on them. Okay, back into the oven. All right, here's the sheet pan dinner. It was in the oven for, I think, 28 minutes. I wanted to give you a close-up of this delicata squash. I love the green stripes on the cream-colored skin. It's really beautiful. And here are the apples. Here's the chicken. Okay, I'm going to plate this up, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the plates. All right, here's what it looks like on the plates. This is Mr. Fox's serving. And as you can see, I put the uh, chiffonade of sage on top of the chicken, just as a very fragrant garnish. And I did try the vegetables. Oh, they are incredibly good. It was not a mistake to put that little uh, drizzle of maple syrup on the veggies. Here's my serving. And here are the vegetables that are left over, which we can have for a meal tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to call this meal um, maple chicken sheet pan dinner, or maybe just maple chicken dinner. Yeah, maple chicken dinner. And I hope you will give it a try someday. Really easy to do, incredibly delicious. I did taste the chicken. It's perfectly tender and it's just lovely. All right. So please give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.